Hey you guys, it's Monday, it's time for a new weekly vlog and I'm at mommy's in my bed here in my room and I am so devastated you guys that I couldn't even bother to do like a proper vlog out of the bed because I found out today that everything I vlogged last week and the week before just went poof. I removed my videos and my pictures from my phone thinking that I have a backup in my Google Photos but apparently for some reason everything is really synchronized or something and it turns out that if you remove your pictures from your phone you automatically remove them from your Google Photos as well and silly me, I didn't put the pictures on my computer, so now everything is gone, including all the footage from the household purse. Everything I did after that, oh my god, you guys, I filmed so many nice things for you guys, and it's just gone. So yeah, the reason why I didn't put them on my computer is because I found out that Google, what it does, I forgot the word, it anyways it makes the pictures and the videos smaller in size so google does that for you so whenever you download your pictures or your videos from google the size is much smaller than when i upload them from my phone to my computer so i thought i'm just gonna leave everything on google and then just upload it from there or download it from there to my computer but now I can't. Yeah, I, I also heard that you have special software or special programs to do that with your pictures. But I thought if Google does that, why should I, you know, use a program like that? I just leave it up to Google. But now my photos are gone. So I am not very happy with the Google system right now. So maybe it's something I did or maybe there is a way to get the pictures back, but I will find out tomorrow. But yeah, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go to bed because right now I'm too upset. Yeah, that's life. Lesson learned. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go to bed and sleep this off because I am so bummed. And I just want to curse, but I'm not going to do that. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you guys. It is. Wednesday, March 8, 2017. So, can you guess what day it is, my ladies? That's right. It's International Women's Day. So, I hope you guys have a lovely Women's Day. Because by the time you see this video, like you know, it's going to be one or two weeks after. So, I hope you have a lovely Women's Day. Today, I'm at my mom's because I wanted to spend the day with my number one woman in the world. And we're going to the movies today. Yes, I love the movies, so I'm always at the movies, like maybe once a week now. And today we're going to a Surinamese Dutch movie. It is taped in Suriname, in Paramaribo, and also in other parts of Suriname. And it's called Tuintje in My Heart. And if you listen closely, That is the song, same title as the movie, Tantra in My Heart, and it literally means a garden in my heart. So, I have an outfit put together especially for this occasion, and I'm going to show you the outfit now. But, I have another surprise. Check it out. Ta-da, you guys! That's right, I am no longer filming with my phone, but... I got myself a vlog camera so I ordered it Monday and I got it yesterday so now I'm trying it out for the first time and yeah I think I like it and this is the outfit for today guys I am wearing of course a I love Sue shirt I love Sue because obviously the movie is filmed in Suriname and I'm wearing a skirt with flowers because the movie is called touch in my heart and like I said that means garden in my heart and what do you have in your garden of course like most of us flowers so I thought this was the perfect this was the perfect combination I love to flowers and I'm wearing a blazer so the 
shirt is from I Love See, of course, the I Love See official brand. The skirt is from Vera Moda. And the jacket is from, let me see, because I forgot. I cannot actually see the brand, but I'm going to put it down here for you guys. But yeah, and underneath I'm wearing just some leggings and some basic booties. The brand is called Everyone. So yeah, guys, that's the outfit from head to toe to go to the movies with my mom on this Women's Day 2017. So that's it you guys, I'm off to the movies because mom is already waiting and getting impatient. You know how moms are, when they're ready to go, they just want to go. So I'm going to go now and I'll see you guys maybe later or tomorrow. Bye bye! So guys, we just came back from the movie, Tantje in my heart. Who found it? Look! Was it funny? Yes. And check out the poster guys. Edwin Joker. Tantje in my heart. Yeah. We just took a few pictures, but the lady didn't cut the title, so that's why I'm vlogging it now. It was a fun movie, so now it's time to go home. Check out the movie theater. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, love it here. Check it later. Hey, you guys. I'm back home at mommy's now. And I'm gonna get ready to go to bed because tomorrow is gonna be a very long day because I'm gonna put together the vlog and try to get every last picture and video back so yeah it's gonna be a long day and I'm also gonna go to the dentist because I really need to do something about this nasty little food here yeah so that's it, Women's Day 2017 is a fact and I had so much fun with mommy and now it's time to go and get some Z's. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey you guys, it is Thursday and I'm still at mom's house and today I decided I'm just gonna have a little movie marathon. Because I started today by watching Letters to Juliet and then I had to cut it off halfway because I had to go to the dentist for my checkup. But after that, I finished watching the movie and now I decided that I'm going to have like a Tuscan movie marathon. So now I am watching Under the Tuscan Sun and after that I think I'm going to watch... Um, a Dutch movie called Toscanse Bruiloft, meaning Tuscan wedding. So I'm just in the mood for some Southern Italy, you know, vibes. And after that, I'm going to do some work for the blog. But for now, you know, my vacation is still running. And I'm just going to enjoy myself right here on the couch watching movies in the south of Europe. Because that's my favorite place to go on vacation here in Europe. I really love the south of Europe and since the movie um, Letters to Juliet started with three of my favorite things I like to have. Those are wine, olive oil and cheese. Oh my god I'm in such a mood to have me some southern European food, Mediterranean food as well. So I'm gonna get up and make myself a Mediterranean snack and enjoy my Tuscany movie marathon. So that's what I'm going to do now. And yeah, like I said, after that, work on the blog and try to get my lost photos and videos from the last two weeks back. So I'll be back later with you guys and I hope you guys are enjoying your day as well. Okay, guys. Check it out. I decided that I wanted to show you how I make my Mediterranean snack and that is tomatoes with bread. I used these tomatoes. I also used this and this is the mixture. To get this delicious mixture I added olive oil, just a splash of olive oil. After that I added some dried basil, some garlic powder, salt and 
fresh pepper and this is the bread guys just open it up and I'm gonna put the tomato I'm gonna show you guys put the tomato and olive oil mixture on the bread and then I'm gonna put it in the oven so that it warms up a little because I love it when my toast is a little hot well, actually it needs to be hot for it to be a toast but you can also eat it cold but I do not like cold bread well not so much It's going into the oven now. I'm gonna check the time and then I'm gonna leave it for maybe five or ten minutes to get hot and then I'll show you guys the result. Be back with you soon. Hey you guys, the ten minutes are up and I'm gonna show you the result. And this is it. After ten minutes nice and warm and well nice and hot actually and crunchy so i'm gonna enjoy it while watching under the tuscan sun because i passed it and was a little focused on my instagram but now i am gonna watch the movie and enjoy my tomato with bread and I think it's almost five o'clock so it's a very late lunch it is so yummy and I just added a little bit extra olive oil on top to make it more yeah yummy and delicious and just a little bit more soft so good guys so good but i'm really off now <laughs> ciao hey guys it is saturday my vacation is officially over but i'm not flying this weekend because this morning i woke up feeling terrible from the flu so I'm not fit at all to go fly I'm still at mom's and we're gonna go to the shopping center here in the neighborhood together because although I don't feel well I decided that I still needed some fresh air for the day and I also needed to run a few errands so that's why I have on my makeup and I did my hair just gonna get ready get dressed and head on out and hopefully I'll be back here in my warm house soon but yay it is March 11th so 10 more days for spring I am really excited for that because spring is my favorite season when everything starts blooming then you know enjoy the sunshine so that's it I'll catch you guys later bye Hey guys, I am dressed and I quickly want to show you guys the outfit for my little errands on the Saturday starting from head to toe I'm wearing a scarf it doesn't have a brand it's just from the market and I really like to put on scarves on my head during this time of year you know March entering the spring I think scarves are really cute and I'm wearing a t-shirt with a little wink to Amsterdam it's from Desigual. It has the red light district on it. And I am wearing a vest from Mango. And this vest has a funny story to it because I almost lost it in London last year when I went there for the summer carnival. And I went back to London like maybe six weeks after. And I called the hotel and I still got to get my vest. They kept it for me. How nice. Thank you so much Hilton and I'm also wearing my stretchy jeans again from River Island I love these because they go with every movement you make really cute and I'm wearing my booties that I wore in another vlog I forgot the name back then but I checked it out and they are called 
Cellini. So yeah, that's the outfit from head to toe, just to go out on a Saturday and run some quick errands. And I'm not going with my mom anymore because she already left. She was talking about going to the center and just walking around. And because I don't feel good, I really don't want to walk around going shop in and shop out. I really hate it. So I'm just going to go alone and do my thing. But for now, I'm going to grab a bite really quick, really quick lunch and then head out. And I'll check you guys later as usual. So guys, I did what I came to do here in the center and I'm now going to say hello to one of my favorite hairdressers here in town. And you know, the strange thing is everybody was looking at me while I was walking to the center and I was like, why are you looking at me? Is there something in my face? And then I remember, yes, I'm wearing a rather, hmm, how can I say, spicy t-shirt. So I guess that's why they were looking at me and wondering why the hell is she wearing that but that's my business isn't it but i'm just gonna go inside and say hello to sylvia and maybe if she's up for it i let you guys meet her look who i found so guys i'm back home finally i'm so happy i think i was out for an hour but i'm home and i want to show you guys what i got because i wasn't planning on really buying anything but i went out for a specific thing and that was my heat protector oil i got this one from kantu yeah. i've never tried it before it's kantu shea butter thermal shield heat protectant so i'm gonna try this one out for you know especially the edges because those are a little frizzy when i'm styling my hair but i hope this one helps and I also got a hided concealer stick from Sleek Makeup. Yeah, can you see that? Um, it's from the shade number four. And I've tried it in the store. I put it on this side. And on this side, I put shade number five. But I thought shade number four looked better. So that's why I got this one. This is the first ever concealer stick from slick that i'm gonna try out so i hope it works and because i bought two things it was at a afro hair shop here in uh, the shopping center i also got some performance and elegance body conditioner from the sales lady isn't she nice look royal ballet it's the brand i have never heard of it but this is what she gave me she gave me like four packages yes to try out and i also got two packages of carotene polisher i'm gonna show you that as well i've got it here on my lap yeah this is what i got just like testers to try out and yeah unfortunately my hairdresser sylvia wasn't at the shop because she already left before i came there like maybe 10 minutes before and uh, her boyfriend was there he's also the owner and i just told him i'll be back another day and maybe i'll vlog something at the hair salon so who knows but for now i'm happy to be home i'm gonna chill sit on my couch maybe watch a movie and then do something for the blog and try to recover from this flu and i'll check with you guys tomorrow because for the rest of the evening i'm not gonna do anything um, vlogging wise so I'm just gonna chill and relax for the rest of my Saturday see you guys tomorrow bye bye hey guys it is Sunday the last day of the week and as you guys know I wasn't feeling very good this weekend so I just stayed in for today didn't do anything special I did took a little trip down memory lane because I went through some of my old cameras and I looked at the pictures from like 12 to even 14 years ago and i saw myself and i was like that is the way i want to look like again so it was like an extra motivation to see those pictures i was so jealous of my old weight i'm like can you imagine just being jealous of your old self <laughs> but hey that's life 
I'm just gonna go to bed now, end the vlog right here, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you for watching. Mm, it's so cold. I'm just gonna wrap myself up and go to sleep. Mwah. Bye.